All right, guys, moving on to the DOD, DOD deck over dump trailer. So this one is highly optioned, customized, what have you. This color is not a standard color, uh, but it is the desert tan, military looking desert tan. So it's a pretty sweet color. Uh, but this person built this one. This one is 16 foot. And I'm assuming that they went online on the website and started clicking around and got to see Oh my gosh, like all the different options that they could put on one of these. And it's got the disc brakes. It's got, of course, the fold down sides. This one has torsion axles. Look at, that's pretty sweet. Look at that. Valcrum aluminum oil cap. You got the D-Max disc brakes with the galvanized or coated, zinc coated ro rotor there. You got the torsion arm, bolted the torsion bracket. You can see the brake lines being run. It's uh, this is definitely a workhorse. When you go disc, that's a that's a good thing to, to talk about. Talking about the disc, you invest up front with disc brakes. There's no doubt. The, the stopping power is better, but what you're also buying is you're buying a better customer experience down the road because you get to you get to change brake pads, and you have which is lower maintenance cost than drum brakes. So over time you know you're going to spend less in maintenance cost you know basically getting a better return on that upfront investment to go with this and on top of that like i said better stopping power performance safety all of those good things so the dod is available in 12 to 16 foot lengths the height is 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 only 18 inches because we can do 18 inch with board brackets, but that's as tall as you can go because when you flip the side down, you see it's got hinges down the side. When you flip the side down, you know, if it was any taller than that, it would hit the ground, you know, with the bed down. So this one, the bed's obviously raised a little bit. So, but, and the HD lid, the V-tongue lid is also available on this one that we showed you on that LPD a while ago. So we're walking to go uh, check out a DOD, deck over dump, and then also a WDT, the big boy, which is the tandem dual dump. but. You know, dump trailers are interesting because the last, I don't know, 10, they've been around a long time, but the last 10, 15 years, dump trailers have royally exploded. I mean, they're just the things that uh, manufacturers that we've continued to optimize and make dump trailers better, you know, for the, whether it's for the farm or for the construction side, just with the designs and the, the telescopics and all that kind of stuff. You know, dump trailers are so handy because you can put equipment inside them. You can use them to dump. I mean, the the usefulness of a dump trailer has just become uh, very important, no matter the business. It's just hard to beat because of, of its versatility. All right, so we had talked about earlier, pink. Here it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, man, woman, it doesn't matter. That's cool. I would pull that pink with also with some aluminum wheels, but pink stands out. You know, trailers, believe it or not, are one of the hottest theft commodities. We get calls all the time of trailers are being stolen, but you make yours pink or a color like that, a loud color, that's the best theft deterrent possible because a black trailer blends in, but pink, it's hard to cover up. So one of the last ones we covered was the DOD. So I was gonna show you a DOD in gooseneck form. So this is traditional I beam neck before you get too far ahead of yourself and asking, we will be developing the engineered neck for DOD um, probably this fall, we're, we're working towards it. Uh, it's one of the last ones that we have to convert. So it will be engineered neck before long for this trailer. So that's just the gooseneck version, another 16 footer, not a lot of other options on this one. So I see a WDT, the big boy. That's where we're headed. Tandem dual dump, massive capabilities. Yeah, there it is. All right, so WDT, 96 inch bed width, 44 inch walls, electric tarp. That's pretty sweet. It's just, that is a standard feature. It doesn't look like this one has many other options. This is a, it's a two, uh-oh, uh-oh, 216. So this one does have 16K axles under it, um, 
two 15, 17, five wheels and tires. This is a 30,000 pound rated dump trailer. So it is definitely a beast, but let's see if we can operate. There it is. All right, watch right, right up there. That's that electric tarp. There is nothing more annoying when you get ready to go, you, know, you need to go dump your, dump your load and you have to climb up there. Some manufacturers on this big of a dump trailer put a manual rollback tarp. Everybody knows in a perfect world, if you didn't have stuff sticking up, man, it wouldn't be that big a deal. But it's not ever a perfect world when you're loading debris and stuff. So this manual tarp, or this, I'm sorry, automatic tarp, takes the tarp up over the load, goes to the back, you can still bungee it down. So it makes tarping your load a whole lot easier. Standard on the WDT. So that's not optional because we don't feel like, you know, we want to even tempt you to water down your customer experience, water down your experience using a dump trailer. We want to make sure that when you get it, you hit the button and you go and you don't look back and you don't think twice about it. So WDT, Mac Daddy. So this is also, offered in a telescopic version. This one is a scissor, but it's also offered with telescopic and a 13 horse gas engine. You can't beat it. It is unreal, the amount of dumping power and consistency and battery life is never an issue, never. You don't, I mean, it's just not an issue with the gas motor. You crank it, you dump it. And it's like that old saying, was it uh, rinse, soak, rinse, repeat, or whatever it is, it's the same thing. You hit the key, it starts, you dump. You hit the key, it starts, it dumps on the, on the gas engine telescopic version. So. so we were talking about hydraulic jacks, and just to give you an example, here is a gooseneck LPT with hydraulic jacks. So same concept as we talked about earlier on the LPD, um, you use the same pump mounted in that box to power both the telescopic and the hydraulic jacks. You go on these, it's just a four button remote. There's no selector. You just bounce back and forth, whichever one you need. This guy or gal actually went with the shocker hitch as well. If you don't know it, man, and have never pulled with a shocker hitch and you pull a gooseneck often, the shocker hitch, you'll thank yourself. It saves your back, it saves wear and tear on the truck. It takes, you know, a normal coupler comes out of here. Well, it's like these. Normal coupler comes out, ball goes in here. It's rigid mounted pretty rigid it's able to to articulate on there this still does the same but what happens is you've got metal down on metal that goes to the frame of the truck and there's a there's just a, a jolt a ride there shocker hitch that airbag absorbs that energy as you're going down the road it floats you can adjust the amount of air depending on how heavy your load is you can adjust it up and down as you need if, you're, if you know man i'm going to load heavy today put a little few more PSI's in the bag and you're ready to go. But it really does save wear and tear on your back, wear and tear on your tow vehicle. You'll thank yourself. If you pull a gooseneck much, you'll thank yourself if you go with a shocker hitch. Man, goosenecks must be the, the new cool thing on dump trailers because there's a bunch of them. All of these trailers, you know, I get the question often when, when people see all the trailers out here, they're like, hey, well, if all those trailers are there, why is it taking so long? Well, all these trailers are here because they're shipping out. They're getting ready to ship, waiting on maybe one or two other trailers to complete that load. Then they're out of here. They're going to dealers all over the country, all over North America. You know, uh, most of these too are pre-sold. A lot of them are pre-sold, you know, where people have gone online and built them and ordered them from a dealer. And now they're, they're shipping out and headed out. So, I mean, just like this one, two 8K axles, or 10Ks, that's probably 10s. Yeah, two 10K axles, seven gauge body, gooseneck, uh, squared load level coupler option. This is very similar, but this one actually has some really cool fork holders on the side. That's an option on the website on LPT. You slide your forks in there, then you can actually put a chain around them and tie there or a, a bungee or a strap to hold your forks in. Then you put your machine inside. So. That's pretty cool. Well, this one's got hydraulic brakes as well, hydraulic disc brakes. So sweet. And look at that sparkle. Man, that DM coating sparkling like a, a shiny diamond. All right, guys, that does it for this dump trailer edition. 
of the walk around on the yard here at the factory. Uh, we hope that you got to see a lot more insight on the dump trailers from small to large, uh, you know, different options, colors, things of that nature. And so, and, and learned a little bit, you know, about the body construction and, and stuff. So um, next, anything else, anything else you want to see, comment, uh, then go subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch for all of our latest videos. We may just highlight what you're asking for. Peace. We'll see you on the road.